Well, hi there, everybody, and good morning to you. Uh, meteorologist Travis Klineski here, starting off on a quiet note with lots of sunshine early this morning. We're kind of between cold fronts, one that came through yesterday, one that's coming through tonight. Ahead of that front, next front that comes through tonight, we'll see a sunny day, although clouds will start to increase later on today, so it'll become partly cloudy here in central Nebraska by 5 p.m., and in fact, probably mostly cloudy out west as that cold front moves into western Nebraska. The best chance of precipitation will be to our west and our northwest this evening, Rain or snow, maybe some light accumulating snowfall up in the sandhills of Nebraska. I also want to point out the change in wind direction, and as that wind will start to pick up, you see western Nebraska, the wind starting to strengthen there during the evening hours. Here in the Tri-Cities, our winds will start to strengthen after midnight tonight, after that front comes through. We probably will get away with no more than flurries or sprinkles here in the Tri-Cities, a little better chance to our north. But we will see a mostly cloudy night ahead of us, but the biggest story will be the winds out of the north and the northwest behind that front. And those winds stay strong late into the night and right into tomorrow morning. We might sneak in a few snow showers or at least some flurries across the southeast very early tomorrow morning. Still some clouds around the uh, Tri-Cities area at this time tomorrow morning, but then the uh, clouds will be decreasing throughout the day. The winds staying strong out of the north and northwest. And when we talk about strong winds, we're talking about winds 15 to 25, maybe as high as 30 miles per hour. Gusts at times could be as high as 35 miles per hour. Otherwise, again, the sunshine returning through the day tomorrow. Temperature's just a little bit cooler, but probably the coolest day we see for the week ahead. Outside of that, some pretty decent weather ahead of us. Let's look at today's forecast high temperatures. I know that's what uh, some people are wanting to know out there. We're looking at mid to upper 30s to lower 40s up north with mostly sunny skies. Again, those increasing clouds late in the day. Your clouds will increase a little bit earlier out west, so we'll just call it increasing clouds later on here through the afternoon especially. Lower to mid-40s and even upper 40s there around Imperial. Small shot of precipitation around Ogallala Imperial late this afternoon. A little better chance this evening. As we head into uh, the south, lower 40s around the Tri-Cities. can see mid-40s in those far southern tier counties of Nebraska, say around uh, Webster, Franklin, Harlan counties. And then upper 40s and lower 50s as you move into northern portions of Kansas. More of your sunshine will be to the east. You should see mainly sunny skies much of the day today out towards the east. High temperatures ranging from the upper 30s around Columbus to the upper 40s for Hebron and Belleville. We'll go with about 44 there in the Lincoln area. How about the next couple of days? Well, today, not too bad out there. Tomorrow, cooler, but close to our average high. Average high is 37 today in the dry cities. Some early flurries or some sprinkles. We're not going to get that cold tonight. Low of 32 degrees. So we might get cold enough to change that over to frozen precipitation, but I just don't expect much here in the dry cities. I just don't think we'll see much. The, the bigger story is the winds, I would say, especially from midnight tonight through sunset tomorrow. That's when your winds will be strongest. The winds will calm down uh, Thursday night, and it will get a little chillier. We're down to 20 degrees by early Friday morning. Now, the skies will be clear, and I want to mention this time frame very closely because Overnight Thursday night, Friday morning is the peak time frame for the Geminid meteor shower. Now, it's actually ongoing right now. It goes from the 4th of December all the way through the 16th of December. But the peak of it comes early on the 14th, 2 a.m. more particularly. Uh, that's when the Geminid constellation, the Gemini constellation, I should say, is almost right overhead. But really through those overnight hours, uh, this is one of the best meteor showers of the year, especially because the skies here are going to be clear. Plus, there's no moon in the sky. The moon goes down quickly after sunset, uh, right around sunset. So we won't see the moon in the sky, the extra light in the, the moon to block out that view. So if you can brave the chilly temperatures that will be in the 20s overnight Thursday night, you have a spectacular view ahead of you. Uh, I'm hoping to look up for a little bit early on Friday morning when I come into work. But yeah, if you have some free time and you're not sleeping, I guess, overnight Thursday night, early Friday morning, it would be a perfect view for some meteors and the rate is like 120 per hour that's two a minute that's a pretty good rate one of the best rates you get from any meteor shower so check that out beyond that looking good friday 45 lots of sunshine and we're going to keep those temperatures well into the 40s saturday sunday monday tuesday all kinds of sunshine as well a few extra clouds from time to time as some weak cool fronts come into the area but no precipitation expected and uh, again, more sun than clouds almost every one of those days. And lows will get a little bit better. Those will be in the 20s. And I think some of those nights we may see lows stay in the 30s. Now, one little quick thing I want to mention before I wrap things up here, as uh, we get beyond this seven-day forecast, uh, through the middle and end of next week, forecast models actually trend even warmer with temperatures. We could be talking about more 50s in store. And the quiet weather continues. And looking even farther down the road, the following Tuesday, that is Christmas, 
that's 13 days out from today, uh, forecast models still keep things fairly quiet and want to keep things on the milder side. Of course, that's almost two weeks away yet. That can still change. But just saying right now that everything's kind of trending towards quiet weather all the way through the Christmas holiday and mild weather sticking around. So pretty good looking forecast overall, if I do say so myself. Again, the only real bump in the road is what's coming late tonight and during the day tomorrow with those winds and a few flurries out there. So I will leave you with that. Some good news out there. Hope you all have a, a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday on the way. I'll see you all again bright and early on Thursday morning. Take care. And God bless. Bye.